Superporate is really good to use this copper because it has a very sharp tip for separate for, for cutting. But if you need for, for for perforating, but if you need to cut, it's better to use such a scalpel, a scalpel with such a, a form. So in this in this case you press and move. So for cutting you need to press and move, not only press. Pressing gives you perforation. If you move, it will be cutting. And there is a very interesting situation. For example, imagine you need to cut, for example, a skin for 30 or 40 centimeters. For example, like in case of the phlegmon or the fight. In this case, we perform an incision from an elect bone till a knee. So it may be very long. We need to open all the subcutaneous space for removing pus. Yes? And in this case, in such a long of incision, we have a possibility. Take the scalpel and begin with cutting, making short movements. After this, after separating, the wall will have okay. such a form. So it not will be very, very slight. In this case, when we will connect them, in connecting, we will be forming of a very thick scar. That's why, right. for making it better, it's better to make all the incision for, to all the length and all the thickness by a same, or by a single move. But in this case, so I said that for um, for cutting, we need to press and to move. So imagine, I take a scalpel and begin with pressing. So put it and begin with pressing. So from this point, from this point, will be the beginning of traumatization of the skin. So I begin with perforation. So I press and I begin with moving. And in this point will be a perforation of the skin. Then I continue with cutting and now I'm going out. So I decrease the pressure and my scalpel is going superficially finishing of the preparation of the skin here. So the length of the um, traumatized skin will be from this point to this point. But the real incision of the skin will be from here to here. So we have a very long drama, but a very short approach. For making it with the same length, we need first to perforate. So, not press, but perforate. Then we change the angle and we press and move till the end. Then we change the angle and remove. So it means the way will be like this, first perforation, so it will be 90 degrees to the skin, for perforating the skin. Then the angle will be acute and we continue with cutting, till removing. In this point we change the, the angle and remove a scalpel. So by a single movement, introduce, move and remove. So it means we need to have a possibility for it. Now, what? So the scalpel must be taken in the manner which gives you such an opportunity. If not, you will, move, will make a lot of small incisions. But it may be, maybe you need a very long incision, maybe you need a very short incision. For example, we can upon a face. In a face, all of incisions are sufficiently short. So in this case, we can't make and long and short incisions using the same manner of taking of the scalpel. So we need different ways of taking, for obtaining different, uh, different incisions. There are three more used, not only, but more used. So for making short incisions, we take a scalpel like a pen. In this case, the incision will be about five centimeters, maybe a bit, a bit longer, maybe a bit smaller. So it depends, first of all, on the length of your fingers, because in this case, it will be movement of your fingers. So, 
the movement will be in joints of fingers. If you need a long one, you will take it in this manner. It will be like a block of violin. So okay. in this case. In this case the movement will be here. So the it will be a very long movement. So it gives you a possibility of making a really, very, really long incision. But in this case you can't control it well. When it's very short, you can make it very, very precise. Precise in pressing, so in perforating, precise in length, precise in the position. But when it's such a position, it may be a bit, bit longer, a bit shorter. You can cut at the same time, not only the skin and subcutaneous fat, but maybe fast and muscles at the same time. So it's not so good in controlling, but it gives you a very long incision. And we have an intermediate position. So, this is for the long, this is for the short, and we have such a position like a knife. And in this case, the movement will be here in the wrist. So it will be about 10 or 15 centimeters like Let's see. So, main three positions. Now I will give you elbows, and you will be trained 